First of all, I would like to ask all of you working with under 19, under 17, nobody works with younger teams. Younger, how old? 15. 15, 13. Also younger. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my question will be in the very beginning, what do you think is, uh, is the biggest problem in your basketball when you're improving the players? What, what would you say are the areas where you could improve? So they're going to be on better level. Techniques, athletics. Anything? Shooting. shooting. You mean technique of the shooting or different shooting forms? Technical. Okay. Something else? I want to ask you, when you're working with your players, are you able to pick the players you want to work with or you just have to take whoever comes? So is there like enough players to pick the top 12 you want to work with or top 15 or no? Well, in some clubs it's possible. Okay. Because they have a school of the basketball. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. in more cases you need to accept whatever you Okay. Need. And how often do you practice per week? How many practices do you have? Who has, who has eight? Under 19, under 17. Eight? Seven? Five. 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 Usually just afternoon. Hour and a half. Okay. No morning practices. Nothing. Some of them maybe. Some of but hardly. Them or... Okay, so five, hour and a half. Um, who of you actually spend about, let's say, okay, hour and a half, 15, 20 minutes for proper warm up, stabilization, strengthening? Okay. At least three times? Okay, well the thing, because I was trying to choose the topics and what is my opinion is really big problem in women basketball is uh, strengthening the preparation. And then usually women tend to have more injuries when it comes to the LCA especially, which is some researchers say it's because we have different angles when it comes to the hips and stuff like that. Some of them say it's because of the muscle, the strength of the muscle and ligaments. But a lot can be actually uh, done by proper mechanics and a little bit of strengthening and stabilization, which you can do every morning. Uh, I'm sorry, which you can do at the beginning of every practice. It really takes about five, seven minutes each practice. It's a nice warm up you can use as well. And it makes them to be ready to go. Um, when I was preparing, that's how I uh, put it. So uh, we're going to look at this a little bit. Uh, any of you do like a really strengthening program, so you have a chance to go to the weight room? Not really. That's, that's really, <clears throat> that's one of the things which people forget when it comes to the women's basketball, I think, because it's getting more physical, there is much more context, and then it makes the difference as the player is going higher, if they start to work actually in the age of 13, 14, they slowly can start to work because girls are mature sooner than guys. So in the age of 13, 14, you can slowly start to work with them on, on the strength. And it's going to pay off when they come to the 17, 18 years old, the category, when they actually should move to the women's. Because it can be, it can be really advantage then for them, because they will be able to compete with the older, older girls or women. Um, there are certain areas which are usually problematic for the girls, stomach, uh, the back muscles, and there is a lot of time um, imbalance between the quad and hamstrings, and that's actually one of the problems when it comes to knee injury. Um, there is another thing which is really taboo, and uh, it can influence the player's performance. Uh, so I want to talk about that as well. I'm going to start with it now, and then I'm going to go back to the preparation. I'm going to call the players here. So. Um, um, what is really important when you're working with women, you have to be aware of their menstruation cycle because it can influence the, the water, the sodium intake, there is a change of hormones, so they can be really moody, they can be tired, they can start to cry just because... And, and you, should, you should know that, you should, there is even like, you can check how it goes, so you know they're going to be a little bit more sensitive, but also before the menstruation cycle, they are at the top, or the first days, they are at the top of the performance. 
So it's good to know that because it might really influence the way how they play. On the other hand, it goes with a little bit with a um, psychological if they feel comfortable. So first to speak about it even. Second, in the game they might not feel comfortable. So you should know it, it might influence really the performance if you want them to perform on the top and you, for example, have important games. Um, there are some things you can find about it online, so I don't really want to talk too much about it. But it's really you should be aware of that. When it comes to the water intake, a little bit of carbohydrates. Because the, the hormonal changes make the body get more tired. Just so you will know for now. Um, okay, I don't like to talk a lot about blah, blah, blah. Can I ask you, all of you, come here, please? You can go a little bit faster. Just spread out on this line here. Face the coaches, please. Um, OK, we're going to start with just a very simple thing. As I said, um, there are a lot of disbalances you can find. And it's very easy to track them, actually spread out a little bit. We're going to start with just the very basic moves, what you have. Um, please get on the line, really. Perfect. OK, now get the stance a little bit hips, like hips wide or a little bit wider. Put the hands in the Y position. Palms turn to each other. Palms turn to each other. Straight. Straight. OK, and we're going to do a little squat. Just go down. Just go down. OK, look in the front of you. Try to hold it. Try to hold it. Stay down. OK, I will show you just very quickly how you can track if somebody, because you can Check them, and then you can take care of it in practice when you do skill work. So this is pretty good. What you're looking for is if the back is straight. Up. OK, if, the, if you look here, the toes should point forward. OK, there is a lot of times you will see any of those. You have to put it in order because actually this put a lot of stress on the ligaments in the knee. Go down. OK. Now this, it means that the muscles are not in balance. Those are stronger than the upper one, abductor. So you have to work a little bit with the outside part, so it's going to get back. OK, get up. Now you're going to go down, the same, OK? Put the arms not so wide now, a little bit more as an eye. Sit down and go up on your toes and try to keep the balance. Not falling. Head up, keep the chin up. Toes down. Not sitting on the hill. OK, when you're explaining, you're going to have a lot of players go five times. Just go five times. Go down slowly, up on the toes. Keep the balance. Put the weight on the toes, not on the hill as you're sitting down. This is pretty good. But you will have a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. Straight arms. If you make them do not really the, in the very beginning of the practice, but after a little warm up, if you're going to go three times five, each practice, they're going to feel it in a little bit. Then you can start to do other things. Uh, you will see a lot of times, I will tell you, because they are not actually doing it. So we said, this is the problem. Any of the toes, turns, whatever. A lot of girls will do this, especially in the younger categories, like this. That is too much stress on the LCA. You have to tell them, sit back. So hips to the back, like going to the toilet for the girls. That's the easiest explanation. OK, we're going to do lunch. But we're going to go backwards, OK? I want you to put the arms like this, elbow on the shoulder level, and just go backwards. It's better to start backwards, because that way they're for sure not going to go to the front, OK? Make lunge backwards, sit down. Mm -hmm. OK, go back, other, other leg. Mm -hmm. Come back, now go to the front, front. And if you want to get up, a little bit, yes. OK, you check that the knee is not going actually over the toes. It should be somewhere in the middle all the time. OK, go back. Spread out a little bit more. OK, we're going to go hands up or this way, if it's too easy for you. We're going to go front, back and side, and come back, OK?
Not turning the knee inside. Keep the knee straight. Over the toe, yeah. Go one more time. The same leg. Watch your toes to the front. Toes to the front. Other leg, two times. Longer step. Mm -hmm. Now you can see when they're starting to move, they're wobbling a little bit. Two times. And they're starting to turn a little bit inside the knee, okay? You have to tell them to still keep it out. Okay. Pretty good. Um, this is just to see how they are doing. This is a very easy way you can just check and it's done, really. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, work on the stability and how to warm up. I don't know, you want to see the exercises or you want to see how you can use it actually for warm up first. Just to, first you want to see just the exercises or immediately in the warm up. Because there are a few which can be done only as I like to communicate when I'm the exercises. The exercises. Okay, the very easy one to start with is you have to make them work the core so they are not using the arms, whatever they're doing. We're going to stand on one leg. Um, who here is left handed? You start on the right, everybody else on the left, okay? It's usually that's the stronger leg, the other one is a little bit more coordinated. What we want to get is a little wobbling. If they're really good, they start on the line, on the floor. If they're really good, you take off the shoes, you can put them on the mat or then on the bosu. That's how you're improving it. Okay, just straight up, chin up. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit to the front with the leg. Now, put up the toes and go a little bit down. Mm -hmm. Put it back, do not put the leg down. You go to the back, a little bit down, and to the side and turn the inside and down. Okay, not now leaning, stay straight. The point is, okay, they're not going to do this. They stay straight, so we're going to the front, to the back, little move to the side. And then you repeat it. Try to go a few times. Two times left, two times right. Not using the arms. Not using the arms. You have to, when you're going back, you have to stretch the leg, okay? Stretch the leg, like you want to reach as far as possible. You want to reach to the front with your heel. You want to reach to the back. Keep the posture straight. Okay, this, go, go. You see, you see that? Okay, you have to check that. Go down one more time. There you go, hold it here, okay? As she's going down, she keeps turning the knee inside. Change the leg. Keep the, keep the, okay? The wobbling is okay, but you can't go inside with the leg, with the knee. Mm -hmm. Heel, toes, Inside. Chin up. Chin up. On a, without arms. Without arms. Okay. This is really just something they can do even on their own. Now, I don't have that many balls. But you're gonna get six balls. You can, you should use small balls in the beginning, because it's harder. So whoever wants to, who wants to get a ball? Perfect. You are also so communicative here in the front. Okay. What you're gonna do now? The others you can rest. You're gonna stand on the one leg. What we did. But now you're gonna go higher. The knee is going to be almost at the hip level. The shin is going to point towards and toes you're going to put up. Let's go. Okay, it's already causing trouble just to stand like that. Now what you're checking for is not leaning backwards, knee higher. This way you make all the muscles tight. That's what you want to get. So the muscles get tight, also the back. Up. Stand straight. A little bit more straight. Yeah. Okay. Higher the knee, higher the knee. You can do this also. A little bit more straight. Okay, it's very simple how you start. You can do this then as a passing drill with basketball, but it's already pretty hard. Toes. 
Now what you're going to do, you throw the ball up with two hands and catch it with two hands in the front of you. Throw it and catch it. OK, you see how they're moving. Yeah, one more time. Now we're going to turn and do the same. Turn the shoulders, turn the head. OK, this is good. That's how you're working the stability. Keep going. Higher the knee, higher the knee, higher the knee. Straight. Turn the other way, two hands, two hands. Mm -hmm. It is now you are after the season, so just for a little bit. OK, give, it to, give the balls to the teammates who didn't try it. Give the balls to the teammates who didn't try it. Come closer. Come closer so they can see you. OK, you're going to go this way. So you start, you throw the ball, you turn outside, you throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. OK? You always have to catch it, keep the balance, and then you can go to the next position. Straight, left, straight, right, straight. Knee up. Up, toes to the body. Yeah, straight, shoulders, let's go. Straight, straight. Just slightly bent, just very slightly bent. Yeah. If you want to try it, actually you can try it yourself, coaches, if you want without the ball, because straight leg, straight leg, the standing leg is straight. You can't let them bend, because then the effect is gone. Okay, you want those little ligaments and little, uh, I don't know how to explain, the apparatus which you have in the, in the leg to work. That's why they can't bend the knee. Left, right, but turn the shoulders. Turn the shoulders. It's especially very important for taller players or if you know your player is going to be tall because to the front, to the front, a little bit. OK? Put the balls here in the front. I would like you, some coaches, to try it. Just so you will know how it feels, because actually, if you want to show something, okay, thank you. You can go on the side. If you want to teach something, it's the best if you know how it feels, so you can tell them then. Okay? Now, because if you're going to be turning, anybody had a knee injury here from the coaches? Because you can feel it really in the ligaments if you're turning. You can feel it how it's getting tight. At least two, three, please. Come on, let's try it. Come on. OK, we're going we're gonna to try both of them. So first we try, yeah. Straight, not all the way, just a little bit bent, yeah. Almost on the hip level, toes up. So you feel this all gets tight. A little bit here, to the front. The shin to the front, shin to the front. Mm -hmm. OK, you feel now it got all tight. OK, two hands up and catch. Without choose, it's even harder than we choose, okay? You have to turn and catch. Okay? Left, right. You always have to catch it before you want to make the, and it has to be the shoulders, not just the head. Shoulders and head. Mm -hmm. Not leaning backwards. Okay? It's good to try it because then you know what to expect from the players. It's good to try it. And now what you're looking for is, if they're leaning this way, it means they are not using the core properly. It has to be shoulder on the hips level, on the knee level. OK, so whatever we're doing, we don't want to get any of those moves. Or even to the side, you will see a lot of players will tend to lean left or right. They have to stay straight. Then it works properly. OK, without the ball, the other one, just the reaching. It's a reaching exercise. So you reach to the front. Toes up, toes up, toes up, back, toes down. Try to reach to the back and inside. And in, good coach. And always a little bit down. And you can make it like a little, if you want to do a little bit of strengthening, you go one repetition, two repetition, three repetitions. So you're adding there. This exercise is also very good if you have players who have problems with ankles. This is really great exercise for them because it's making work really well. Thank you.
OK? Come here. Just so you will see our actually doing good. Can you move a little bit there? A little bit so you're going to be in the front of the coaches. OK, there are more exercises. Just I'm going to show you a few. Um, OK, who of you, you said you are not really working out, OK? So let's try a plank position. We're going to go for a core, because that is usually a problem, plank position. I want to see that you're going to put shoulders on the same level as your uh, wrist, OK? Please. Now the body needs to be straight, OK? I don't know if you want to get up and see. Try to look like a little bit in front of you, like a mirror in the front of you. Now this is, this is very weak core up here. A little bit higher. You can see also very well if you come, if you go around. Now that's this way. Here, here up, here up, here. There, there you go. OK, she's very strong actually here. And here is weak. So you need to work with that, or she's going to have back troubles. Up, 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 head up, look in the front of you. Second thing, what you're going to see a lot, this here, OK? OK, come on. You can, you can let go. Let go. Let go. OK, what you're going to see, I'll show you. This is, you are pretty good. So what you're going to see is this. That's first, OK? That's a weak stomach. Then you're going to see this. That means too strong here. And then you're going to see like a little hole here between the scapulas. That's really actually, that's really bad. And that's really common with the basketball players. So what you just do, I mean, it's really hard. You tell them as you do handstand to push in or just slightly, it's easier with guys. You just slightly push here so they're going to start to feel it. Now, if you, it was one of you. Can you come here? No, no, no. What's your name? Karin. Karin. Okay, Karin. Can you just do it, please, here? You, you can rest. The others. Okay, just go. Okay, you see? So you just slightly, you, you put her in the right position, head up, head up. Okay, now she put it up. Hold it. You can also see if they're turning a little bit, because it's starting with the scoliosis a little bit here. So you will see. So you can, you can put them in the form. And you're staying in the position in the beginning. Hold it, hold it. OK, good. OK, just the arms not so wide. You put them into the position, and in the beginning, go just 20 seconds. Then you build up 25, 30, and so on and so on. But they get really tired. Um, if you would have really player who has big troubles with, with this area of muscles, what you do, I'm just going to show it. It's going to be easier. You have to really check so they are in the right position. If they are just there is the problem, this is not a problem, you put the elbow under the the shoulders, and you just tell them to roll over. It's enough. It's working those little muscles there. And you just roll over, and then you go back and forth a little bit. Basically, you are not really moving. It's just very little move. 10 repetitions, done. And they're going to really feel it. Now, if they also have a problem with stomach, if they bend like that, you tell them to put the knees under the hips so it's not so hard. And it's the same position, just like this. That way, the back gets really straight. So if you have somebody who is really not OK here, this is the best position. But you have to check. Knees right under the hips, elbows, shoulders, and you just go. OK, plank position, please. Come closer. Yes, just so you will be on the camera, all of you. OK, get into the plank. Hands under the shoulders. Get, let's go. Not so high. Head up. OK, we're going to put up the right leg. Put up the right leg. OK, put it down, other leg. Now what you're looking for is if they start to turn the hips. Change again. Change again. A little bit down. Change again. Up, up, up. There you go. OK, good. Put the leg down. Now we're going to stay, stay, stay. Push in, push in, push in. Push. Like you want to get, yes, push. There you go, push, push, push. Not here. That, that's what you're going to see, OK? Here, here, here. There you go. OK, it's very easy how you can get it. 
What we're going to do now, you're going to put up the, hold it. It's not even a minute. You put up the arm, OK? So you put up the arm this way. The hand under, yes, not turning the hips. This is weak core, OK? Not moving the hips. Come on. Tight it. Come on. Up, up. Tight it. OK, it's just very slightly you touching them. Each arm four times, OK? We're just going to go four. Push, 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 like you want to do handstand, head up, head up. Come on, four times, hold it, push. Now you see they're getting tired and it's all coming, OK? They're getting bent everywhere. This is actually very important because, come on, four times each arm, under. Not moving the hips, not moving the hips, come on. If you have four repetitions, just go down. Not moving the hips, that's very weak core here. OK, that's how you know. Now, why is this important? This is just very simple in the beginning. But this is important because when they get into the context, this is what keeps them in the straight position. You also have a players which are going to be very, you're already tired. You have a players who's going to be strong down here, who's going to be strong, but it's going to be flying everywhere. So they're actually very slow in changing directions because the legs are already pushing, but the shoulders are still somewhere there until they bring it. That's why it's important, because it's helping with all the moves. And actually, you jump much better. If you are strong here, you jump much better. If you look at the body, everywhere it's very nicely, like you have ribs, which hold this upper area. But just down here, that's the only thing where you have only the spine, and there is nothing else. That's why you have to build those muscles very strong, so they can take it. OK, um, two, please, two of you come to the front. And we're still doing just the front. We're not going sideways or back. Please, two here. Oh, that's going to be. <laughs> come. OK, what you're going to do, you're going to one on one gets to the plank position. The other one's going to hold the hand, uh, leg. Sorry. I'm sorry, I slept four hours. So. Hold it, the legs up. Legs up, legs up. Put, put it up, put it. OK, put the knees properly. OK, go down. Go down. Let it be, let it be. Let, let her go. OK, you are not doing this. OK, if you go, you're going this way. Just lift her, keep the knees straight. It's a simple thing, but you're going to just do it every time, whatever, and put it up. Perfect. Up, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way. Now here puts more stress. Up, up, <laughs> up, stand normally. OK, let's go, let's go. You see the bend here and here? Because you put them up, it puts more stress on the shoulders. And that's another area. So you have ankles, knees. This is a problem. And then shoulder area. That's the most typical for basketball players. Now you need to get up. What was that? You have to get tight. Get really tight, hands under the shoulders. Come on. One more try. Get up, OK, head up. Now, if you look, I don't know if you can see <coughs> how she's turned. You see that? So, it's gonna, OK, yes. Up, 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 up. Now, this side, this side, this side. Yes, and hold it. OK, first, you should not do really a lot with it. And up here, because she's already dying. OK, let's go. Change. Change. It's harder for the top players, but it's more important for them. You want to try the others? It's fun, actually. <laughs> not like that. Uh-uh, not like that. Go down. Yeah, that's better. Come on, tight. Get tight. Get tight. That's better. OK, look in the front of you. Just down in the front of you. OK, now what you're going to do, let go one arm, uh, one leg. Let go one leg. Hold it. No, hold it. Get tight. <laughs> OK, let's go. Can somebody hold my legs, please? Please. OK. Ready? Yeah. OK, let go one leg. Let go the other. And you keep changing like this, OK? You have to hold it. And you have to be able to hold it, actually. OK? And they need to get to this. This is still just the beginning. This is not really. OK, thank you. The other one, what you can do, I'm going to show the exercises because it will be too much. So this is one, OK? They have to, you let go. 
but it should not be left, right, left, right, because then, you know, and it gets really tight there. So you should go like two, one, two, one. Five repetitions in the beginning, absolutely fine. Just hold my legs. Okay, the next one is what we did, but they're gonna go this way. They have to hold it and they go. The next one, they go to the front, okay? Then the next one is, now you go very slightly, push me to the front. This is for shoulder area and for stomach. They have to say stop, okay? More, 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 you can go. Okay, and then back, it's like a half step. Okay, oh, that was too much. <laughs> <laughs> I drove for three hours, okay? Thank you. So what you do? Too short, who is the smallest here? Two shortest ones. That's me. <laughs> the shortest ones. It might be a little bit easier with them, okay? You're just gonna try the exercises, what I showed now. Now, when you're doing the front and back, it puts a really lot of pressure on the core and on the shoulders. So basically, what they just need to do, it's a little move in the beginning. Try it. So, and you're teaching them, no. From the very beginning, you're teaching them everything in the right way, how they should do it. And you just have to take care of that. That was better. Okay, head up. This up, this up. Okay, let go one leg. That's better. And not pushing on her, just get tight. Not pushing on her with your legs, just get tight. Okay, wait. Wait, hold it. Go, go. Go, go, go. Straight. Now that's better. Okay, she's, she's much better. But this is what I said. You have to, because she's counting on the fact that I'm going to let go the other leg. Okay, rest. That was pretty good. You're going to go with the arms, okay? You're going to lift the arm. Now, she's already better, but you're going to see she's going to let go here. Ready? Okay, arm up. Straight legs. Straight legs. Get straight. You see how it's getting loose there between scapulas? Good. She's not moving the hips. That's also very good. That's what you're going to see. They start to move the hips. You have to stop that. So it's really the core which works. You want to try the last one? Back and forth? Okay. okay, just make a sound, okay? You don't need to say, hold, stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Head up, head up. Okay. You're going to see that, I mean, for... Good, good, hold it, head up, head up, head up. Okay, one more. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, good. Okay, where could you feel it? Where did you feel it? Here. Only there? Yeah. Okay. Too nervous. Okay, thank you. That was pretty good. You want to try with the big players? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, you're gonna put up the arms, okay? Give me your leg, give me your leg. So this one is the, okay. Not moving, you see? Not moving the hips, no, not moving the hips. No. Try to, that was better. Up, 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 up the head, okay, that's good. Okay, that is exactly what I was talking about. So it takes a few months until it gets fixed, but it can get fixed, okay. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more fun, what you do, come here, please. Uh, I'm going to work out here instead of them. Okay, we're going to do the plank. If you just want to have it more fun, do the plank position. Okay, give me a high five. High five. High. Hold the, not moving the hips, okay? Just give me the arm here. Okay, and you go. You tell them to go 10 times like that. Now again, you have to check if they're doing it right. Okay, thank you. This is just for the front, for the side. This is going to be more fun. Spread out a little bit. Or get like every second, go a little bit back. Every second, a little bit back. Every second, every second. Very hard exercise. Okay, we're gonna go sideways like this. Put the arm up. 
this shows you if they are straight. And if this is not very hard for you, you're going to go up with the leg. OK, five times. Let's go. And this is still just, this is not even dynamic stabilization. OK? Look in the front of you, straight hips. They tend to turn back and forth. You have to put them in the straight position. No, no, no. Five times, then change the leg. Straight, 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 straight. Push, push, push to the front here. There you go. OK, other side then. To the front, to the front, this to the front. OK. The important is they have to be straight. Also the head, the head is connected to the back. Look in the front of you. OK. Hold the hips, arms, arm here. Look in the front of you, hips to the front, here to the front. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. OK. OK, next what you can do, you're just going to do a star, OK? So you turn, you go up, hold it, come back, front, turn the other way, up. Try left, right two times, OK? Mm -hmm. That's very good. Hips to the keep the hips straight, keep the hips straight, up this part, to the front, to the front, go. Okay, what you're gonna see is they're gonna turn the hips, they're gonna put it down, or maybe up, if you're gonna tell them to take care of it. They still have to get the right position. You might start. <laughs> okay. For the back, if you want to work out the back, we're just going to go fingers pointing backwards. Okay? You're going to go up and you try to get straight position and you're going to be looking actually at the ceiling. Okay? You're going to hold it for a little bit. Let's go. A bit closer. Ceiling, ceiling, up, up. Good. Okay? Ceiling, this is not so bad. You will have players who can't even do this. A little bit higher. Who can't get into this straight position. Hold it 15 seconds down. That way you got the front, you got the back, you got the sides a little bit. OK, let go. This was OK. So again, what you're going to look for, in, out, whatever. This was more for the back part. OK. Now, if you have really, really good players, you're starting to be a little bit warm. If you have really good players, you start to do squats on the, so we did squats with two legs, okay? Then you can, I ask for, there, okay. Then you go actually on one leg, but first you just go very slightly, or you tell them to hold on something. So they will go, and then you will see really how they're going with the knees, side or whatever. So they still have to, it's the base is to hold and to go slowly, slowly down and back up. Three repetitions, very nice, done. Um, get up. What is important when you're doing any exercises then, a lot of time, because in basketball we're moving all the time like this, the quad gets stronger than the hamstring. So what you can, how you can prevent it a little bit is, it's just very simple. You go down like this, you can try it if you get up or you go a little bit more to the front. If you go with the body to the front, the shoulders, it makes the hamstring get a little bit tighter. So you are actually able to move better. Knees, coach knees. Six. <laughs> okay, if you have a straight posture, it's not so tight, it's not so tense as you go a little bit to the front and actually help you with any move then because you're more ready to do whatever you need to do, okay? You have any questions to this? This is just very few exercises, just to. Okay, um, six girls please take the med balls and go to the baseline. Or sideline, so you're going to be cross. 
whoever wants to, the others, you can go sit down. Or are you going to go without? You're going to go without. Yes. So you're not going to be. Let's go. OK, there is a very nice exercise. I'm not going to ask them to do it. Can I ask you to get up for a moment so you will see? No, no, no. I just need a spot here. So you can see everybody. OK, I'm going to do it here. Because most of those exercises are on the frontal part. Now, if you want to see how good is the back part, actually, and it's working all the muscles, the postural muscles, so the ones which keeps you straight, you tell them to, ooh, this is a little bit dangerous. OK, you tell them to go on the bench, and they're going to march. So they have to get straight everywhere here, and then they march. And you tell them, go 10. And it makes them nicely tight, and they're working out here. It's not so hard. If you want, you can try. But after 10 repetition, they're going to be good. You're walking, and it's really like walking, and because you want to have the same chain as when head down, head down. So you really walk, and if you go 10, hips a little bit higher, hips a little bit higher. And it's a very nice exercise, actually, for the postural muscles. OK? Very simple. Possible to do it everywhere. Sideline. Now, if for warm-up, OK, to, we're going to start a little bit with the stability now and dynamic stability. Um, if you go with the med balls, it put more stress on the body. If you tell them, if you tell them to keep the arms up, it actually makes the core muscles work immediately without even you telling them get tight or something. So just tell them keep the ball or keep the hands over your head next to your ears. That way, you will even if you try it yourself, you will feel you get tight here, and you can do whatever you want then. Now, other thing, what is very important when you work, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, or maybe, let's see how we're going to be with the time. When you're working, uh, for example, um, crunches or sit-ups, it's very good if you tell them to actually tight, like, um, the inner muscles, like they need to go pee. So they get the inner, which are very important. They get tight, so they work the outside and the inner part. Because sometimes there is a problem that they are not in balance, and they're starting to be doesn't they are starting to be problems with it. So it's very good to tell them tie the inner muscles and then do something. Okay, hands up. Now you can do you can do it stationary or you can do it as a, in a movement. If you do stationary, you just go to the front and back. Okay, but I want to see now how you move. Straight, straight, good. We're just gonna do we're gonna start with the lunges, but you're gonna turn and what we did in the beginning, you're gonna go backwards. Okay. So you take a lunge. I don't want to see that you're going to step in between. Take a lunge, take a lunge, and keep walking this way. Turn, and start walking. You too. Hands up, hands up, and let's go. Longer step. OK, now we will see they're starting to turn the toes, and you can go. Toes pointing to the wall, straight arms up. Keep the ball up. Hands on the ear level, longer step. Longer step. Mm -hmm. OK, that's good. Turn, just turn, turn. Go that way. OK, so you will see now. Go, go. Four times each leg. Longer step. OK, some coaches will. Here, go, go. Next step, keep the balance. OK, the knees are going a little bit in. You have to put it back. Watch out. OK? The hands are not here. They are up here. OK, pass the ball there. Pass your balls there. Come here. Step to the front. More, closer, closer, closer. I'm not going to make them do many repetitions. Sideline five, middle five, here five. OK, but I'm just going to tell you go five. We're going to hold the ball in the front of you. The ones who doesn't have the ball just have the hands in the front of you. If it's too heavy, hold it like this, OK? And we're going to do five times within the beginning. Squat, 
up on the toes, keep the balance. Hands in the front, the ones without, and let's go. This helps actually to keep the balance. Keep the balance. You go slower down and go up quickly. Put the weight on the toes. Mm -hmm. Look in the front of you. Just five. Go down, go down, go down. Wait. Okay. She's starting to put the knees a little bit closer, so you just have to a little bit down. There you go. Okay. Five, five, five. I need you to move later. Okay. Now the ones with the med ball over, and we're gonna go with it star. Okay. But now we're gonna go also 45 degrees because in basketball you're moving a lot laterally and diagonally. So we go front, back, side. 45, okay? 45 back. Head up, longer step. Now, some coaches say, you will see how they're moving here. The most important is keep the balance, hands up or here, if you want. If it's too hard to keep them up, and then the other leg. Now you just, then you tell them to go more explosively in it. Ball, med ball is over the head, over the head, over the head. There you go. And you see? Just go, go, go. Do it. Wait. Okay? Toe straight. That actually, my letter causes a lot of troubles. Okay? Not going this way, straight. Also backwards. Once they start to move and they get tired, you will see it more and more. 45, that's not 45, 45. Now the thing is, we're starting to breathe a little bit harder, we didn't even do anything. Sideline. The thing is, when you're teaching them, so if the legs are closer to each other, the toes more to the front. As you're getting wider, you can turn them. That's just normal for body. There is another exercise, you can work just the back muscles if you see that somebody can hold it, what we did in the beginning. You just tell them to go wide, and they need to sit down. Keep it straight here. Come back to the middle, sit down. So they do a little move. They do a little move, and a little move here. It's nicely working. If you see any even turns and whatever, it's gonna help this one. <coughs> We're gonna try the ball over. The ball over, who has it, who doesn't have it, hands like this. You're gonna do march. You're gonna go like knee up. Okay? And then you just drop it down, drop it down. That's it, really, simple. Knee up. It's not a lunge, but it's like a broad step. Knee up, broad step. Mm -hmm. Over. Okay, good, put it in front of you, and just go march. Okay, you don't need to go too high. You don't need to, and keep walking, do like few repetitions. You don't need to get too high. This way you see also if they are too tight. If they have to go like this, they are tight. If the leg doesn't go up, tight here. Okay, put it down. Put it down the balls. To stretch while you're still doing lunges, so you're still working out the legs as you want. On the line here, we're gonna go backwards. You start with normal position, and every time you step, you go up with the arms, the thumbs are pointing backwards, and you bend over. So this is more for guys, the problem. So you stretch the whole part, okay? And you go back. Stretch over, bend, and go back. Six each leg. Long step, straight arms, thumbs to the back. Straight arms, thumbs to the back, up and down. Now you tell them to go up and down, so it's a little bit like locomotion when you walk. So they need to coordinate the upper and lower body. You start down, and as you go, as you're dropping down the leg, you go up with the arm, and you bend over. Straight arms. And once again, you're gonna start seeing whatever is there. Okay, good, sideways. Stop where you are, doesn't matter where you got, okay? We're gonna go to the front, elbows on the shoulder level, you take the step, this elbow goes to the body, and the other one you stretch over, you should feel it nicely all over. Then you take the next step, 
elbows down, this one over. Let's go. Knee, watch your knee. And elbows back at the shoulder level. Now this is good to teach them because even if they're gonna be posting up, they need to know to have it here, not down here. Elbows at the shoulder level. Stretch the upper arm, stretch the upper arm, stretch the arm over, so you're gonna feel it. I'm just gonna show a few exercises. Okay, good. Now, from where you are, you're gonna do inchworm. This is a very nice strengthening exercise. So you go as far as possible with your arms, and then you follow with the legs, but straight legs, as close as possible. Arms, legs, okay? Let's go. From the blue line, from the blue line, try to get at least here. Keep the legs straight, okay? And not spreading them, keep them close. Let's go. Head up, keep the ass up. You're staying down, you're staying down, just keep going. Straight legs. Now you're getting a stretch at the same time and work out. Good. Okay, good. Try to go backwards, from there backwards. This is even harder. Backwards. You will see they're starting to turn the legs a little bit. Keep the palms on the floor. The palms on the floors the whole time. All the way to the blue line. All the way to the blue line. Toes to the wall. Okay, for, if this is too easy for somebody, who wants to try, gonna try the other ones. You good? Can you move a little bit? So if this is, this is getting too easy, how you can advance it, then you take a med ball. You tell them to go with the ball. So you go with the ball as far as possible and then you follow with the legs. And then you can do the same backwards and with the ball. Okay, try it. The ones who got the balls, come here to the blue line. Come here to the blue line. A Little bit to the front, so we're gonna see all three of you. What's your name? Tina. Tina, step to the front. Okay, from there, try to come till here. Tina, till here, you till the right line. Okay, to the front as much as possible. Now this is really putting them off balance. With the ball to the front. Okay. And you have nice workout. It can be done within 15 minutes if you pick some of the exercises each practice. Now this is good for to the front, keep the balance. It's actually making them ready to go. To the front and then the legs, straight legs. Okay. Try to go backwards, backwards, try to go backwards. You put it before you start with the practice, at the end of the stretching or warm-up phase, and they get really ready. And not spreading the legs, that's a cheating. Okay, and then you say just go sideline to sideline or till the half court. Okay, water break girls. Good, water break. Thank you. Um, I wanna show you just then the warm-up drills for stabilization when it comes to the jumping. Then we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna continue. Do you have any questions to what we did? I mean, it's just few exercises, but just so you will have an idea. It's good to, if you're doing a uh, warm-up, it's always good to just four or five minutes, pick any of those, let them go through it, a little bit for the legs, a little bit for the core, and if you do it each practice, within two, three months, you're gonna see the change.
For example, in the end of the practice, so as you're doing cool down, uh, you could use those planks exercises. So you take, for example, the front, the side, the star in the beginning. If they didn't do it before, that's going to be enough. And you let them be for 20 seconds in the front, 15 on the side, for example, three stars. And that's totally enough. And then you build up on it. But it's better to start with a not so long and just the stabilization if they didn't do it before. And then you start the movement ones. And then you can go those, whichever. You can put the legs up. It can be anything. Or you can try to go actually across. But that's already for them, that will be too hard. So you keep building on that. But first, they need to be able to keep the posture. And few of them. So it's not going to be more in the beginning than four or five minutes, really. Because if you add the squats in it, five, seven repetition, it's going to be about that. Not all of it. And especially not with those. When we did with the legs up, that's already when they are good. What do you think or what is your experience uh, about some exercises? Are they better to do it in the beginning? Or are there some, uh, some of them are not so good to do it in the end? Because mm -hmm. if the girls are Tired. Tired. Mm -hmm. there, uh, there are some exercises that are not so easy. And it's, uh, that depends how you build your, your uh, practice. So for example, this inchworm exercise, I'm using every practice in the beginning, this inchworm. And then I'm just changing if it's with the ball, going front or back or both of it. And then the distance. But that's like a warm up. Also those ones, like yeah. I'm using it as, as a warm up. But then if you're doing, for example, athletic practice, I put it in the end. And it's before, actually, I'm going to do, for example, sit-ups. So it's still, yes, they are tired, but not so much. Because it makes the difference. So. Any other questions? But as you can see, this is really, and this is problem with all the girls. And actually, they are really good. I so much worse, like really not being able to just keep the proper mechanics. And then stability. No questions? We're going to start that or uh, until there a little bit. Girls, can you come? Back to the sideline, please. We're going to do those, are, those exercises are also, I'm using them in the beginning of practice. First, come here to the middle, please, around the circle. And then we're going to take a break. Circle. Circle. You can do it with a ball, without the ball, OK? Um, or with a med ball. But we're going to go without the ball. Circle, please. OK, all of you, put the hands next to the ears, actually. I don't know if you're saying to your players to put, a head, to put the hands like this. If you do, I would recommend just to tell them go to the ears, because a lot of them will do this. Instead of having the head in the proper position. That just goes when we're talking about the back muscles. OK, so head to the. Now the ones with the ball, you're not going to have who wants the ball. Basketball players, you don't want to score? OK, who has the ball? You're going to keep it in the front of you. Who doesn't have it, the hands are next to the ears. There is one more ball. OK, let's go right leg one more time. Lunge. Hands to the ears. Now what you're going to do to check them, Hold it, OK? There are points you're going to go for, hips, hands, but it's better hips. Hold it to the front, to the back, OK, and stomach. And you just go by them. Hold it, hold it. Good, hold it. Hold the ball. Right, playing basketball, hold it. Good, OK, stop. Change the leg, go. So this way, you have them around, so you can just turn. You see immediately if they're in the right posture. Hold the ball. Good. Hold the position. And you just try a little bit. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You're almost done. With the closed eyes, it's much harder. OK, good. Now the same you can do, sideline. This is really for younger group. This is better for younger groups. Uh, sorry, not sideline, middle line. Middle line, middle line. Spread out. 
with the ball, you're just gonna do, if I say go, you do cross step to dribble, jump step, hold the ball, okay? Without the ball, you just go without the ball, like you have it, imagination, okay? Go, let's go, left, right, I don't care. Okay, go back, my bad, spread out a bit more. We're gonna start to the right, okay? We're gonna start all of you to the right. Ready? Go. Two dribbles, stop. Mm -hmm. Hold it, hold it. And now you're gonna do it in basketball already. That's gonna be the next part, but this is a warm up drill. Now watch this, okay? Playing basketball. Go. You make one lane like this. There is the basketball, not me. There you want to score. And you just go, hold it. And that's it. If you have a system, this is all you need to do, okay? Go. Two dribbles. Okay, turn, turn. You're gonna go on the whistle. So you're just going, when I whistle, quickly stop. Keep it low, okay? No long ones, jump stop. Jump stop. You're gonna go then one, two step, but just then. This is just to show a little bit. Ready? Reaction. Where is the ball? And then you just go again and you check them, okay? Good, thank you. To finish, really now, without the ball here on the line, spread out. Every second is going to be on the blue line. Just really simple warm-up drills, again, and you just get them ready. You just then um, go lower or whatever you need to do. Spread out every second blue line, every first orange line, without the ball. Without the ball is good. Jumping exercises, and this is what I do really before I start the practice, after the warm-up. We're going to go diagonal jumps, but you can't make the next jump before you are not stable. Okay, so if you're going to be whatever like this, you have to stand. Now, I'm not jumping because I'm a coach because I can't jump but each of your jumps is gonna be longer. Okay, so it's good to start with the short ones. The first group starts to the right. When they make two first, first two jumps, the second group goes all the way across. So what you do, you go jump, you have to hold the position. Jump, hold the position. Now if this is not a problem for them, you tell them on each jump, put the knee up what we did in the beginning. Jump, hold it. Then the next one. Let's go. To the right, jump, each jump must be my star, I said it. Let's go, second group. Not using the arms, you are not using the arms. If you have trouble with it, put them up here. Jump, keep the balance, then the next one. They should be able to do this without anything. That's how you know they're ready to go. And each jump is longer. Girls, each jump needs to be longer. The same backwards. The same backwards, turn. And the same backwards, start to the right. Keep the balance. You can go the next one, E jump longer. And this makes them ready to go. It's jumping, keeping the balance. There is still no contact. Hands here, just so you can stand. Once they start to move, you see more and more if there is something. And you have to go for it and you have to, each practice, you have to tell them how to do it right. This is still the time when you can work with it. When they get older, very hard. Okay, second one. You go two little jumps, one long one, okay? It's like if you would use the ladder, so in the ladder and out, in the ladder and out. Let's go. Two little ones, one long one. And jump. Quick, long. Quick, long. Not crossing the legs, not crossing the legs. It's one, two, and long, yep. Keep the balance, you can't go. If you, you can't move, you have to have the balance. We're gonna go backwards the same, but now, just because there's a lesson what you're doing for now, you're gonna put the knee up, hold the balance, and then you go. Two little, one long one, knee up. Then the next. Okay, changing the rhythm, let's go. The toes are pointing that way. 
Keep the balance, knee up, knee up, get the posture. That's not a posture. Shoulders up, and then go. Knee up. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Get straight, get straight, look at your, no, 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 no. no. Okay, this, hey, coaches, this is the most, go down. This is the most dangerous. Knees pointing this way, toes are pointing that way. Go, straight. Keep it straight. Two little ones, longer one. Get it? Good. Knee up, knee up, knee up. Straight position. Okay, each practice, they get better. Okay, thank you. Good job for now. The next one, we're gonna start again with the jumping exercises. I'm gonna show you, because this was diagonal. We're gonna go straight, and then we're gonna go straight and side. Okay? Any questions? Okay. Five minutes break? Yeah?